Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. Happy Halloween, and welcome back to Let's Play Curse the Eye of Isis. Now, we're supposed to be doing something, but I can't remember what. Did you get into some ex North Atrium, uh, looking for the cat. to get to the north atrium and uh, fight the thief. Fortunately, we are still indestructible because not cheating is not something I want to ever do. And... No. He had a shot- he had a crossbow last time and that might be dangerous. There we go. Alright. Also, we don't only have our shotgun. I think we also have... No, we do not have a truncheon. Cool. Guess we'll find one later on. But we have an infinite shotgun, so I don't really need a trench. Uh, infinite rifle, we don't really need a truncheon. Uh, two dead goons. I like there's no stamina meter. That would be irritating and kind of tedious. There's uh, there's Her Majesty, Queen Victoria, the not amused. Cutscene. That means something. Oh, there's the thief. He has his crossbow. Do we get to kill him and take it? The music sounds, um, a little familiar. Like, a little... Quiet Riot. Quiet Riot's good. Um... Can't remember the band. But return once more. Can't... Let the bodies hit the floor, that's the one. I haven't listened to that song since fucking high school. On, Catman. He just got shot in the throat. I think we just got shot in the throat. Or maybe it was a knockout knockout belt. Probably. Failed job. Alright, Mr. Cat. Le Chat. Don't know why a French thief is in England, but I'm gonna settle you. I'm gonna settle your hash, yes I certainly will. Or that mummy will settle your hash.
Dude, lock the doors behind you. You're stupid. Wait, you can open doors with your mind? Uh, Victoria, I don't think we can handle this guy. He seems to be psychic. Don't even know if this is the right door. I... The problem with this game's camera angle is you can't off... Oh, yeah, it was the right one. I think it might be a... It might be a woman. <sighs> what?! Oh no! That's bad! Ha! That's actually... Okay. I thought we were gonna have to fight a big skeletal whale for a second. Uh... How did you not see... That thing behind you? <gasps> oh. oh. Wake up, wake up. Come on, there's no time to lose. Your young friend has just been captured in the atrium. Oh no. You must get there quickly. I found this crossbow. You better take it. But I've seen the statue. It's on the floor in the atrium. But I didn't want to go near it. Oh no. It's been nothing but bad luck. Please hurry over to the atrium. I'll try and contact the police. Uh, okay. I'll take the crossbow. my personal favorite still, the pistol. Apparently we get two of every weapon. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, be able to give, have, have both of them have pistols. That'll be nice. Just the speed of pistols is, un is freaking unmatched. In terms of Victorian era weapon. Obviously a machine gun's gonna be faster. But I don't think those those shouldn't exist yet, at least. And apparently we will eventually get to leave this museum. Yay! Come on, something attack me. Oh, yeah, of course I'll take the Eye of Isis. Cool. Is Kimball a zombie now? No, he's running from a big zombie. No! Kimball! No! Oh, no! Let's see how the crossbow actually does against this. The Shah's trademark weapon, silent and deadly. So it's a fart. Oh shit, two shots. That's nice.
Crossbow seems more like a fighting vampires type weapon than anything else, but... Got to use one in Constantine, I remember. And Van Helsing. Oh, well, okay, you can't really do Van Helsing without a crossbow. It's just a signature weapon in the movie. Well, at least a Van Helsing based on the film Van Helsing. <laughs> His weapon isn't bad, but I prefer my pistol. <laughs> We have it equipped, good. <laughs> oh, don't laugh at me. So where's Victoria? Yes, I'll take the elevator level lever. We need that. Poor Kemble. Not you're not even gonna say anything about our friend Kemble. So it's got to be this door. Nope, that door's locked. Uh, shit. Where would you use an elevator lever? I mean, obviously at an elevator, but where would where is an elevator? <laughs> Can't go that way. Um, hmm. It's got to be this way. But that's lot. Uh, that's. Locked. Don't have a key, but I don't think the elevator lever will work on this. Maintenance elevator. Where's the maintenance elevator? According to logic, one of these doors needs to actually be accessible, right? Alright, this, this door. This door works. That, that's something. I'm glad our lantern doesn't run out. That would be fucking annoying. Uh, so maintenance elevator.
Mummies are far weaker than other enemies if you stay well away from them. Why can't I use it? I can't use it there. Maybe the other direction? <sighs> like, this game was also released on, like, Xbox and PS2. There is no fucking excuse for pixel hunting in this game. <clears throat> pixel hunting is fine in, like, 90s point and clicks, but what the hell, man? This level of precision for standing in the right place to use something isn't a fact. It should not really be a quote-unquote feature of this type of game. Alright, which one do I use then? The power running this up? Oh my god. There, fuck. Still have- oh, it's a mummy, alright. Of course it's a mummy. Yeah, burning them totally works. Them's no more or less effective than any other strategy I've realized. It's cool to use a flamethrower, I suppose. But... Not against these guys. Okay, 
it's barely in the effect. All right. What are you even doing? Whoa, I thought you were dead. You're wearing boots. The rat shouldn't be able to hurt you. Ah. Well, this room's a waste of time. Stay down. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm getting really tired of this game. <laughs> I don't like this not telling you where to go thing. Like, at least something I can check my objectives, right? Because I can't remember what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Oh, there- Oh, Abdul! Are you okay? My friend, forgive me. There were too many of them. They have taken Miss Sutton hostage and demand that you return the Eye of Isis if you wish to see her again. The trade-off will take place at the train station. If you go through the sewers below, maybe you can head them off. Nothing to say, really, Darian? I really don't like Darian Dane. Like, there's something about a character who is not a silent protagonist. 
but who still never fucking barely speaks. I don't know. Oh, I had to push it so it's not actually, even though it wasn't on the frickin' trapdoor, but whatever. Down the trapdoor. Debian, come! Well, now you're up and at him. That's good, I guess. You freaking weirdo. I like, I like him. I wish he was the playable character, frankly. Quickly, use the sewers below to get to the train station. I just gotta double check how much document space do I have. Uh, I'll think about getting rid of some of those later. Okay, now it looks like we're well and proper just in a Resident Evil game. I mean, it is basically Resident Evil, but mummies, so I guess. Inventory system's not nearly it. Oh! Inventory's not nearly as bad as Resident Evil. Yeah, you're wondering why I've never played a Resident Evil game on this channel? Aside from it's not really based on a movie, even though it's inspired by- but whatever. I hate the inventory system! <coughs> yeah, I'll take the flamethrower. There's no room in my inventory for the flamethrower. Okay. Gotta give some stuff to Abdul. Jesus Christ! Okay, look, I can't even shoot the rat, so don't have the rat be a thing. Okay, game. If your game has like, if your game doesn't have combat, this isn't a, fee a factor. But if your game does have combat, don't have enemies which you can't attack. Here you can have my smelling salts. No, you can't apparently. Yeah, jeez, I. I keep thinking it's X. It, it's. A, but it's actually X. Okay, so you can have the smelling salts, you can have the amulet, and you can have the flamethrower. Keep the others. I can only hold four weapons on me! That's d d stupid. Like, limited inventory space is also something I'm really not a fan of. Like, I get it, survival horror, but... Like, it, it's actually worse than Resident Evil, because Resident Evil you can just kind of, like, manage your inventory, like, the way you place things and shit. But in this, god, not a fan at all. <laughs> Like, don't just tell me I can't have it. There's no reason I can't have it. You just decided I can't have it. Who is this? Yes, I'll pull the mysterious lever. Hey! 
Also, of course, this horror game has a sewer level. That requires a full loading screen for some reason. Is it just me or does this look a lot like the sewer level from Silent Hill? Oh good! Oh nothing... Nothing bad can happen down here. Also your gun's worthless now, Darian. Sorry. Your gun's dead! Your gun is gone! <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to go through it, there's no other way, so... Oh, it was... it wasn't even there. Alright, cool, whatever. Alright, that's a way... that's nothing. Now, why don't we want to give them the Eye of Isis? We don't know exactly what problems it causes. Like, so far with how we understand Darien, just giving them the Eye would probably be a solution. Whitechapel, of course. Why would it not have something to do with Jack the Ripper? Look, if it's going to somehow insinuate that Jack the Ripper is involved in this Egyptian bullshit, um, yeah, maybe don't do that. <laughs> They're probably not, but they probably are also. Shouldn't our lantern be out too if we're like hip deep in fucking sewage? Now, Darian, I could climb that. Come on, man. I, I, I wouldn't like to. I don't like ladders. I'm scared of heights to that extent, but... Like, heights, wide open spaces, um... Crowds of people. I'm claustrophobic when it comes to clouds of peop crowds of people, not like small rooms. I think there's a term for that, but I don't know it. And of all things, fucking butterflies.
No reason for that to be the fixed fucking camera perspective. <laughs> I hate fixed camera. I mean, I don't necessarily, but the... Like, I don't mind fixed cat. like, if you don't have control of the camera, that's fine, but keep it, like, at the character's back. Ah, oh, fuck off! And I have to find Abdul again. Fuck limited inventory space. Like, seriously, there's no... It's a... Oh, fine, the game broke. Great. Yay, the game stopped working. I fucking... Okay, so crash, but we're back! Um, came back here just so, cause I'm, so I can give, uh, give this guy a few things. Uh... Button is A, and button is X. Right. And you can also have my flamethrower and my pistol. There! the sewers below to get to the train station. We're gonna get to the next Abdul and then call it a video. <sighs> wow, mummies certainly don't care about crossbows. Almost as if this is a vampire slaying weapon out of <laughs> Not a mummy slaying weapon. Look, I know Peter Cushing played both the protagonist in the Hammer films The Mummy. I think Curse of the Mummy it was called. And the and Abraham Van Helsing in the in Horror of Dracula or Evil of Dracula. Well, he was the Van Helsing in the Hammer of Dracula films. But that doesn't mean that you, that the characters are interchangeable and you could Oh! kind of fell over. Pull all the levers. Like, the thing that just happened, that crash, yeah, that's why I'm not okay with fucking fixed, with, uh, save pointing. Because that was in no way my fault. Darian! Darian! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Now, part of my despising of, uh, of Darian here, not only is the fact that he can talk, yet doesn't, but the fact that I'm sure I, there's no, I, I have nothing against David Gassman as a person, but uh, he is the voice of fucking Arno Moriarty, Moriarty from Dracula 3, The Path of the Dragon. I don't know, because I don't know exactly what order I'm having these come out in. Uh, when, if you, if that Let's Plays come out, but my god, I hate that game, and I hate its protagonist.
I figured using a flamethrower in the sewer might be a bad idea. Either because there's water everywhere, who gives a shit about the fire? And either, um... Yeah. Methane. Alright, the ladder that I can climb, but he can't, proving that I am, in fact, in better shape than the video game character, even though I'm... Even though he seems, like, slim and muscular and in very good shape, but apparently he's not, because he can't just kind of heave himself up and plant his feet against the... against the wall and all. I'm not liking this game. Well, I'm liking it, but I'm not liking its technical fuck-ups. They're that close, I think it's playing for a time. How does he like fire? Oh, he's horrified. Of course you would be. You would be too. Second pistol. here then. Found some standard crossbow bolts. Uh, not really. Uh. Dude, these rats need to chill.
That's where we came from. Um, are we supposed to be going exactly? Are we missing something? Did the guy have a key? Yes, he had a key. All right, good. My brain's working a bit. Oh, good. More, more curse gas. Oh no! All right. Assuming we use this. Oh, Abdul! Looking there, we must find Miss Sutton. But first, we must call it a video here because I've been Merrick D'Amato and this has been Curse. I have Isis. Happy Halloween. Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. I run the channel Narwhal Entertainment. Uh, you will find here let's plays of video games based on either movies, comic books, or anything licensed, really. You'll also find Mind Breakers, where, my, where myself and a guest will review a bad, or at least strange, movie, usually a horror movie. This show comes out 6 o'clock p.m. on Fridays. I usually have a Let's Play video come out 6 a.m. on every other day, except when I have uh, two Let's Plays running concurrently.